Hello guys, hope you have been having a very lovely day. In this video, we will be learning about two PLC ladder logic functions. The first one is the skip function. The skip function is denoted by SK while using ladder logic. So, this function essentially is used to skip a specific part of a program. So, this is a diagram in which we have an input say 0 1 and a skip function it is denoted by SK as I've mentioned earlier and skip function say 0 4 6 is the coil number and in the skip function we can mention how many lines of code we need to skip for example I'm writing 0 0 3 this means that when this input is enabled and the skip coil is energized the next three lines in this ladder logic will not be executed. From the fourth line onwards, the ladder logic will be executed. For example, if, this, if the skip coil is not energized, if this skip coil is not energized, the following lines will be executed as usual without any change. To help you understand better, let me show the small example. This figure shows a ladder logic that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 coils. Say the numbering is 0, 0, 001. I'm not just numbering the inputs because you, you pretty much know that. And for example, let's say the skip coil is present here, which is SK046, and the number of lines is 0, 0, 002. So now, as we know, the ladder logic is executed from the top. It means after this line is executed, it comes to this coil. Now, if this input is on, which means if the skip coil is energized, the next two lines in this logic will not be executed. That means these two coils are not executed. And after executing this line, the execution logic goes to this specific line and then so on but if the skip coil is not energized then the execution goes as usual which means if this input is not enabled that means the skip coil is not energized it means the execution will go on to this this and this in this way the skip coil can be used to skip a specific number of coils in a ladder logic one point that has to be noted while using skip function is that when you're skipping say you're skipping these two lines it does not change the status of a specific coil for example this input was on and this input was off when the skip coil is used the input this coil will remain on and this coil will remain off even if they are skipped this difference is important when you want to compare the skip and the MCR functions now let us look at the MCR or the master control relay function this function is similar to that of the skip coil the only difference is what we have talked about in the last part of the skip function when the MCR function is used it turns off the coils that means it does not leave the coils in the previous state as the skip function does it turns them off to help you understand better let me take a small example I'm considering a ladder logic now this is my ladder logic and say this is IN0001 I'm not uh, numbering the other inputs and this is my MCR coil the second one is my MCR coil say 0034 and the number of coils is 002 now if yeah, so so now let us see how the execution takes place when I turn on when I run the program the execution starts from the first line that means this is executed first and then comes to the MCR coil so now how the MCR coil works is if the MCR coil or the master relay coil 
sorry or the master control uh, relay is uh, this coil is on only then will the execution take place which means if this input is on if this input is on and the MCR is active only then will the next two coils run now if this MCR is on this is gonna run and this is gonna run and then this is gonna run and this is gonna run right now if the MCR coil is off which means if the MCR coil if this this is off this is off then the next two coils that is this coil and this coil will not be executed and not only that they are gonna be skipped they will also be turned off which means if this coil was actually on if this coil was actually on the MCR coil or the MCR function is going to turn it off because the two coils which are included here it contains this and this so this is not this function is not going to leave the output in the previous state it is going to turn them off and then the execution is going to run as usual so I hope you have understood the difference between the skip and the MCR functions so just to make things clear I'll just write this for you yeah the skip function and the MCR function so the skip function is denoted by SK and the MCR is master control relay function is denoted by MCR so this skip function skips coils when active while the MCR function runs coils that is the runs the successive coils whatever number that we specify when active right and the skip function leaves the coils in the previous state but that is whether they are on or off but when the MCR is off then the coils mentioned that is the number of coils mentioned will be turned off so this is the major difference between the or probably the only difference between the skip and the MCR functions you might ask me what exactly is the use of skip and what exactly is the use of MCR functions so consider uh, you can consider a lot of real-time examples you can um, uh, for example you are um, rolling a conveyor belt which means one of the products is is faulty and that is detected and then uh, you just have to put it back in the step where it has to resume and not repeat the complete process so in that case an MCR function will come in handy and the skip function has similar uses so this is how the skip and the MCR functions are used in a PLC ladder logic program uh, hope this video was helpful and have a lovely day.